All right, they're called the best days of summer, and they start this Wednesday. We're talking about the Minneapolis Aquatennial Celebration. Right, the festival has a new format this year, but some of your favorites are back, too. Natalie and I got a preview of what you can do, starting with a parade. So the Minneapolis Aquatennial is the official civic celebration of the city of Minneapolis. We're bookended by two popular and longtime favorite events, the Centerpoint Energy Torchlight Parade, which kicks off Wednesday, and the Target Fireworks, which conclude us next weekend. They are one of the top five annual fireworks displays in the nation. We use over 10,000 pounds of explosives for, those, for that show. In addition to that, we have some new events this year um, that we'll be debuting as well. And so we have a core power yoga event that will be taking place. Uh, we have an aquatennial exhibit down at Cambria in downtown Minneapolis. So Kelly, the Torchlight 5K is uh, part of this uh, aquatennial celebration. It's going to be hot. What should people do for running in the heat? You know, water is your best friend. Um, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate before and after the race. Technical gear or or as little amount of clothing as you can. <laughs> you know, as little amount as possible. Make sure you've got your race bib on, but that's about <laughs> it. Give any excuse to not wear clothes. That's what he's looking for. Uh, we have an awesome event that will be taking place on Wednesday, a Loring Park Family Fun Day, where people can come out, they can enjoy pony rides and interactive kids' activities. They can take a ride in a canoe. So I just need you to power the canoe as my muscle, and then I am the steering wheel, and together we move this boat together. Okay. So it's going to be really be fun. So you're the brains of the operation. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> One, two, three, up. And then we'll turn it just slightly here. Let's get set up and we're going to get ready to paddle here. Oh, wait. Are we missing someone? We're missing a couple people. Who are we missing? Come on, guys. Okay, good, good. Nice. Perfect. Oh, right. Is this the first time you've had a water heater in your boat? <laughs> Here we go. All right, bon voyage. Let's okay. start to paddle. Adrian, where else have these canoes been? They have visited New York City, Washington, D.C., Atlanta, Georgia, and San Francisco, California. But they call home here in the Twin Cities. Why do people like to canoe? I think it's very peaceful. It makes you in touch with nature. My favorite paddling place is Hidden Falls Regional Park. What's really beautiful about that area is there's so much wildlife, like great blue herons, bald eagles, osprey. Natalie. What? Oh, paddle? <laughs> <laughs> you're you're known for that, you know. What do you mean? What do you mean? When we went to the lake last year, we may have gone in circles because <laughs> one side of the boat was paddling while the other Listen, was not. I just like to take in the beauty. <laughs> you uh, get lost. You get lost. I in the get beauty. lost in the beauty. How beautiful was that that wide shot of a water cooler and? <laughs> Why not? It, it is Loring Park. It was Park. weird. I love it. You occasionally see some yeah. some interesting things in Loring Park. I've seen stranger things there. That I have. was one of them. Yeah. So our own Mark Rosen will be the Grand Marshal of the Aquatennial Torchlight Parade, which starts at 8:30 on Wednesday. And then prior to that, at 7:30, Kylie Burst will be kicking off the Torchlight 5K race. We have more information posted on our website for you if you want to check that out.